I want to talk about celery juice. You want to talk about celery juice. In fact, hundreds of thousands of people want to talk about drinking pure celery juice every day and its potential benefits, so much so that it's become an internet phenomenon in the past few years. I personally believe that the Merriam-Webster dictionary needs to induct the phrase celery stalker into its dictionary because it's become such a phenomenon. Now, I've personally tried it. In fact, I first tried it about 12 years ago for a couple of weeks. I've tried it since. I found it to be not an unpleasant experience. It is mild in taste. I certainly felt the detoxification effects from it. My skin looked great, but I was only able to sustain it for a couple of weeks. And that's the feedback that I hear from most people. Now, because I'm a trusted source of research, I recently got a question about celery juice and drinking it. Is it real? Is it for real? Or is it all hyped up? So I doubled down and I looked at the research about what the potential benefits are compared to what might be overflated. Now, let's talk first of all about the history of celery. Celery, the scientific name is called Apium graviolens. It's in the Apiaceae family of vegetables and, and plants, many of which have beneficial effects. Historically, orally, celery has been used to treat rheumatism, gout, hysteria, nervousness, headache, weight loss, exhaustion. Celery is also used as a sedative, as a diuretic, as a urinary antiseptic, a digestive aid, an anti-flatulent, so it helps with gas and aphrodisiac in some cultures. It helps with stopping lactation, for regulating bowel movements, stimulating the production of hormones from glands, for blood purification, for high blood pressure, for PMS symptoms. And for hundreds of years, of course, it's been part of a trifecta in French cuisine, mirepoix, that includes celery, onions, and carrots, part of a delicious trifecta that is the base of so much French cuisine. Now, I do want to point out that most of the research on celery has been conducted on the seed, and that's because the components and compounds are most concentrated in the seed. There are some studies on celery stalks and celery juice, and I'll get into that in a moment. The most important compound of celery is called apigenin. It's a natural flavone. It's widely distributed in plants such as celery in the Apiaceae family. Research has shown that higher intake of apigenin can reduce the risk of certain chronic diseases. Dietary or therapeutic apigenin has value as a good cellular regulator in cancer, especially cancers of the gastrointestinal tract. But again, these studies have been done on celery seed. It may reduce blood glucose levels. In one mouse study, celery leaf extract or celery stalk extract, i.e. celery juice, reduced blood pressure, cholesterol, triglycerides, and improved risk factors in mice for cardiovascular disease. A really cool study was done on mice on a, a chemotherapeutic agent called doxorubicin. And that's among one of the most potent and toxic chemotherapeutic drugs commonly used in the treatment of cancer. And what they did is, is they gave mice doxorubicin and they gave another group of mice celery juice. And the celery juice with doxorubicin seemed to protect against damage likely due to increasing a powerful antioxidant called glutathione and other antioxidant effects. Some, again, even celebrities and medical mediums have called it a miracle juice. And there's recently been a craze on the internet about drinking pure celery juice. Anecdotal and testimonial evidence is clear. Most people like it, but again, it's, it's not sustainable. That's what most people give me feedback, and that's what I found myself. You can do it for a couple of weeks, maybe a month, 
but it's, it's not a sustainable practice in my opinion. It does stimulate bile production from the liver and, and the gallbladder. So it potentially can help break down fat and help with weight loss. It has anti-inflammatory effects. It's high in vitamin K, so it's good for bone health and heart health. It's a diuretic and it's high in nitrates, so it can help dilate blood vessels. And as a diuretic, you, you can lose water, so it potentially can help with high blood pressure and increase blood flow to muscles if you're an individual that works out a lot with resistant exercise. It's purported to be an antibacterial, antifungal agent specifically for the urinary tract, though those studies, again, have been mostly performed on celery seed. It does seem to be good for skin health, and the components are caffeic acid, ferulic acid, apigenin, lutein, saponins, camphorols, and coumarins, phytosterols, which help to fight free radicals and help the skin to look more youthful. Now, you can achieve celery juice with a juicer. That's pretty easy. You can also achieve it through a blender. I would recommend that you chop it up first so those celery strands don't bind up the blender. So chop it up, add a little bit of water to the blender, blend it up, and then you'll have to pour it into a muslin bag or a hemp bag and squeeze out the juice. Now, personally, I have found that making a juice cocktail was more beneficial for me, including celery, a little bit of beet, a little bit of carrot, just a slice or two of apple, adding some ginger. I have found to have more powerful effects than pure celery juice. Now, as the case with all juices, it has no fiber. But that's okay with celery because it's low glycemic and the juice itself should not cause any kind of spike in blood sugar. I would recommend that you sip it, drink slowly, start slowly. Start with only three or four ounces. You can work your way up because in my experience and thousands of other people, if you chug it or if you start with uh, quantities that are too high, it can be quite the detox, it can be quite the laxative, so you may experience loose bowels initially. It typically only lasts a day or two. Now, there are some cautions. It is safe for most people, but there are some cautions to drinking pure celery juice. It may actually prolong the activity of certain medications, like acetaminophen or Tylenol, and certain antidepressant medications like Effexor. It may have antiplatelet activities due to some compounds in celery. So if you have bleeding disorders, proceed with caution. It is a diuretic, so it can have antihypertensive or lower your blood pressure. And so as a diuretic, losing water, if you're on lithium or high blood pressure medications, you need to be cautious. It does have bile stimulating activity. So if you have no gallbladder, proceed with caution. It is curiously one of the vegetables that have the highest known allergic responses. So if you know that you're allergic to celery, please do not drink pure celery juice. And again, if you proceed too quickly and consume too much early on, it can be laxative. And certainly that is detoxification processes but if you're prone to diarrhea, if you have IBS or irritable bowel syndrome, it may worsen those symptoms. So that's what the research shows. Again, most of the research has been done on the seed, but there has been some research on the juice itself. Is it a miracle juice? Is it a miracle cure? No, but I found it to be effective for short-term use and thousands of people out there anecdotally, testimonially, have found the same thing. I believe in the original meaning of the word doctor, docere, which is teacher. If you have questions, I want to know what those questions are so that I can inform you of what the science shows so that you feel comfortable and confident with some of these health fads that are on the internet. If you have experience drinking pure celery juice, please let me know. I, I want to know what those experiences are so that I can broaden my scope and understanding 
of health fads. I really appreciate your time and attention. I know you're doing this to learn more about your health and well-being. At Zenith Labs, we actually have a supplement called Pure Greens. It, it contains several foods from the ABACA family. I encourage you to check that out. It's actually 57 superfoods you can add to your smoothie. It tastes great and it is powerful in its antioxidant effects. We have a website, zenithlabs.com. We have a Facebook page, Instagram. Check those out. Make sure that you subscribe to this page, share it with your friends and loved ones so that you are more informed and they are more informed about some of these health fads that are on the internet. Thanks so much for your time and attention. My name is Dr. Ryan Shelton.